This is the IFF TV podcast. So I'll kick off with you, Andrew, if that's all right. Yeah, hey, Toby, how are you? How are you? How's this sort of thing ahead of the first leg? Yeah, you know, we're excited for the, for the first leg against Israel, you know. It's a chance to, well, the first 90 minutes of the two legs, so um, yeah, we're just going to try to give everything for uh, and try to make history. Yeah, definitely, you know, we've all been playing at club level, getting game time, so, um, yeah, we're all uh, just looking forward to the first leg of the second of the two games. Even looking at the most, I think most, if not all of you, are playing first football, you know, at the moment, so how important is that going to play into a game like this? Yeah, it's um, massively important, you know, we've got a huge talent of, huge talent of players, and, um, you know, everyone's, everyone's ready for the, uh, First leg of the game of the two legs, so um, yeah, we're just looking forward to it, and uh, we're gonna give everything. Yeah, and how's how's the long lead so far this year at Bradford? Yeah, it's been good. Um, out of all the loans I've been on so far, I'd say I'm enjoying this one the most, and I've I've haven't even been there a month, so can't complain really. You know, the gaffer's been um tremendous with me so far, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Yeah, definitely. I didn't realise how big the club was until I actually signed there. But um, yeah, it's got a huge history, and the, even like the stadium and the the fans is just unbelievable. So I'm loving it so far. No, he's been a pleasure. Um, you know, he's welcomed me so um <clears throat> straight away into the group, giving me game time, and um, you know, he's a Manchester United uh, legend, and I grew up supporting Manchester United, so. It was a no-brainer for me to go to, to Bradford and work under him. You know, he's worked at the highest level, so to work under him is a pleasure. <coughs> Thanks. Cheers. Oh, oh, Fred, very, oh, yeah. uh, what would it mean for you to, to qualify? mean the world to me, to be honest, you know. Putting on the green jersey and um, making history for the 21s would um, mean the world to me, and especially everyone here as well. So that's what, that's what we're going to look to do, and uh, hopefully we can do it. And, like, there's a... A lot of players, like you've been in the group for quite a while, and a lot of players like Neil Connor, who seems to be been there for a long time as well. And um, it would be fitting, given that this is a lot of players' last campaign, wouldn't it, to kind of end on a, a high? Yeah, definitely. No, we've kept we've kept the same group throughout the the whole campaign, really. But obviously, there's new faces, and um, I've no worries that the they're, they're not going to perform either. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to. To the first leg and uh, yeah, it's going to be a sellout as well at Tala Stadium, which we haven't had before, so can't wait for that as well. Yeah. Have you done much work yet in the, the Israel team? Like, um, now we're just you know we're just going to analyze them, see what where we can hurt them, and um, yeah, you know we got a whole week, a week to prepare, so um, yeah, we're going to look in uh, on the clips and stuff and uh, be ready for the game. Yeah. You mentioned before that. Bradford move was the most enjoyable so far. What was it, what is it that makes it so? You know, up up in Bradford is just football crazy really, so and even the, the fans are I just love the fans to be honest. You know, seventeen thousand at home yesterday um was a I've never experienced before, so um I'm just absolutely loving it there. And it just feels like a family environment, so yeah, I'm just I'm just loving it. You got a goal as well the other day, so that was a Nice confidence boost going into camp. Yeah, definitely. You know, I've been tr- been trying to get my stats up the last the last year, but um, it hasn't really gone my way. But this season, I'm looking to. You know, I still got ambitions to play for Aston Villa in the Premier League, and I've only got a season remaining there, so I haven't really got time to waste this season. So I'll be looking to get my stats up, and um, yeah, it was a massive confidence boost to going into the international break. Yeah, and, and what was it that made you choose? Bradford, like Jake was talking earlier about how um, his team play a, a similar style of football to the Palace. Did that come into it, or what was the, the biggest factor in your team? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, obviously the manager played a huge factor as well because he's managed at the highest level, managed some quality players. So um, for me, it was a no brainer. And the football that they play as well was it suited me the most. So, yeah, I was um, delighted that they were interested in me. Is there any kind of specific advice or anything like that that Mark Hughes is giving you that's, that's still out? 
he just says, just go out there and enjoy yourself, you know. When I'm playing, I just I don't feel any pressure on me. So he says, go out and express yourself, and that's what I try to do. <clears throat> so just finally, what would be this was your, your main aim for, for this season? <sighs> main aim would be to get my stats up, promotion with Bradford, that's the ambition of the club, and just see what the end of the season holds for me. Just seeing as you mentioned a bit of there, Tyreek, I mean, do, do you see that as realistic? I know you have time left, but discussions you've had there, when I mean, you see the level of players that Villa Boy and the one they spend, do, do you see it as achievable to get into that team? If, I, if I'm um, performing the way I performed on the weekend, then I don't see why not, you know. I've always been, um, I've always um, aimed the highest, so I don't see why I can't get into the Villa first team and um, try and impress them. Okay, regular feedback from from how you get on last year and no last year this year Bradford. I mean, do they send somebody? Is there a monthly report or what's the feedback with Villa? We do um a weekly report after every game. We have to fill out like a questionnaire thing, and it's just yeah we're always keeping in touch every week really. Just on, on again you mentioned Mark Hughes and just to, this game coming up a lot of managers are particularly enthusiastic about international football especially when calls lead to cancellations but because Hughes well is a little bit different that he appreciates what it would mean. What, what, what it means to Wales to get to the World Cup, what it would mean to you, like, has he had, has he had chats with you about this and what it, what it would mean? To be fair, we haven't, we haven't really spoke about it, um, to be honest, but, you know, I've no doubt that he's, he's rooting for me and, um, and my country, so, yeah, I haven't really spoke to him about it. And Israel, you know, a diff different challenge, you know, to, to Wales since, since we played him, I mean, you know, I know you'll, you'll do your homework on them during the week, but, I mean, what, what do you make of them, what do you assess of, of, of Israel? I've no doubt that they're going to be a quality side, you know, they're not here for no reason, so we'll be looking to perform at our highest level and um, hopefully get the win. Cheers. Nah, it's this season, it ends. So, so after this season, we'll see what happens, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely, um, you know, I was a bit. I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm disappointed not to have signed a new one before going out on loan, but I'm not surprised because you know my last last season was a bit of a write-off for me because I didn't perform that well to be honest. So I wasn't surprised that I wasn't offered a new contract. But you know this season is a new season, and I'm I'm more positive about it. So yeah, we'll just see what happens really. Is that, I know Stephen Kenny has spoken before. He says the first few moments for a lot of players don't go into the form of man. Do you see it similar now, as you said, you're only there a short time, but it's the best one for you? Yeah, definitely, you know, last season I wasn't really sure of myself, and I think I lost myself a bit <clears throat> when I was at Salford, but um, yeah, this season I'm more sure of myself, I know what I want, and um, I'm ready to go get it. Just generally, you said you, you filled out a questionnaire after every game for the other What type of things are in that questionnaire, or what's that? Just like what you, what you do well in possession, out of possession, um, what you feel like you can improve on in the game, and yeah, that's it really. I don't know what they do with it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, they just get back in contact with me and we just speak about the game. It was, yeah, it was a deadline day move, yeah, so, literally. What's that like? I mean, you're thinking if I don't get my move here. Um, to be honest, I was I was hoping to get on loan like at the very start of pre-season, yeah. and obviously the weeks just dragged on. Um, I wouldn't say I was worried about not getting a loan because there was a few options, but <clears throat> I waited out till I got the right option for me and what I felt like what was best for me. So yeah, it just came on the the last day, and uh, yeah, I was absolutely over the moon that I came. Just one and. and <laughs> Yeah, you know, you can't really ask for much more, to be honest, you know. Every player wants to feel free when they're playing and just have the confidence of the manager, and that's what I feel like I have at Bradford, so, um, yeah, I couldn't thank him enough, really. Um, David, sir.
sorry, I, I am old enough to remember Mark Hughes, but that's why I'm guessing you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not, but I've seen a few highlights on him, yeah. Have you, you gone and looked him up on YouTube and things like that? I wouldn't say I looked him up, but um, just clips on TikTok and stuff have come up and I've just seen a few goals of him. What do, what do you reckon, James? Seemed like a decent player, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> it was a decent player. Hey, can I ask uh, what it, um, the direction of having Aaron Connolly back amongst the 21s, obviously, been up and, and, and played in the seniors? Yeah, you know, it's a massive confidence, confidence boost to the to the group. You know, he's played Premier League for Brighton, he scores goals. And um, yes, I'm just absolutely buzzing to have him back and I'm sure the ho whole team is as well. <clears throat> increases the competition for those uh, players as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's healthy competition. We'll only push each other to be better players, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the week. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what can you tell us about uh, Taylor's Do you know much? Uh, to be honest, I don't really know much about him. Um, he came in and then went on loan really straight away, but I know that he scores goals, creates chances for other players, and um, he's a very attacking midfielder. Just um, obviously, uh, David mentioned Aaron Connolly, but when you look at the entire attacking lineup, um, from your position, when you're looking, when you have the ball in the wing and you you're looking in the box now, you you must be excited by the options that we have in attack. Yeah, definitely. You know, the attack's full of um, goals and assists. So um, yeah, for me as a winger, I'll I'll just look to do my job and hopefully that the the strikers can do theirs as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, this was your first ninety minutes on Saturday at the weekend, was it? Yeah, in the in the league, yeah. How do you feel after that? Honestly, I was I was knackered after the game. I was looking I was looking over to the bench at eighty minutes to hoping for one of the wingers to get warm. But um, yeah, I played all ninety minutes. I was shattered after, but I'm feeling I'm feeling good coming into the camp. Um, yeah, and I'm ready. Good play, good play for this week. Yeah. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers. Um, that's all then. We're back in shortly with uh, Aaron. Thanks very much. Ed.